Hello and welcome to Ballistic Advantage. My name is Clint Hansen and today we're going to talk about gas systems and the parts pertaining to said gas systems. So we're going to go right into it here. We've got a little vis visual aid on my magician's table. But we're going to start with the rifle length gas, okay? So let's just say you were going to do a front side post on a rifle length gas. You would need rifle length handguards and your rifle length gas tube. If you're going to go with a rail for it, you'd need a 12 inch rail, unless you're using a rail manufacturer that made the mill out for the front side post. Okay. If you were going to do a low profile gas block, you want to go over that. So with the 12 inches wouldn't be long enough to go over it. So you'd want to go to a 15 or some other length that's longer than 12 inches. Okay. Uh, moving to mid length gas. If you were going to do a front side post on mid length gas, you would then need mid length hand guards. Okay. If you were going to do a rail, you would use a nine inch rail. Uh, like I said, milled out rail uh, will allow you to go a little further, but normally it's going to be about nine inches. Uh, if you're going to do a low profile gas block on a mid length system, then you're going to want to go around 12 inch rail so you can shroud your low profile gas block. Okay. And then you can see it just natural progression. You know, it's pretty obviously what's happening here. Rifle length, mid length, carbine, gas tube corresponding. It's all pretty easy, but with this visual aid, hopefully it helps you guys, especially you beginners, a little bit more and understand it. Um, carbine length gas, same thing. You have carbine handguards. So if you had front side post on your carbine length barrel, you would have carbine handguards or a seven inch rail, okay? Not gonna go over front side post with a pistol length gas because your sight radius just wouldn't be enough. So it really typically wouldn't be what you wanna do. Uh, so you probably go with a seven inch rail or longer uh, if you had a bigger rail and you're shrouding a suppressor or something, okay? Um, another thing I'm gonna cover in this, when you're trying to you know, figure out all this information and, and if perhaps you have the parts first and you're building around your rail or something, uh, measurement of a barrel, it's not the overall length, okay? So this overall length of a seven and a half inch barrel is actually eight inches. You're actually going to be about halfway through this barrel extension. So you're going to be about seven and a half to there because that's where the chamber starts. Okay. So it's a good rule of thumb to know, especially when you're trying to pick all these parts and go over all this stuff. So I hope that helped you out a little bit. Um, if you have any other questions, if we didn't cover something that you want us to hit us up on our ballisticadvantage.com, the website, and you can email us or go on the Facebook page and ask your questions there. So again, we're here to help and thanks for watching.